So I'm uh, walking down the road trying to get a ride back to the trailhead this morning. Very interesting. We'll see how this goes. I got about 30 miles, I guess, to get there. Is that the way my phone was saying? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, I've made it back to the trailhead. Whew, there was some train that was blocking traffic. So there was no way I was gonna get a ride on the other side of that train for hours. And so, but I finally did. And it is, I don't even know what time it is. It's gotta be around noonish to one. Let me get a little, I'm a little discombobulated here. And uh, then I'll be back on the trail and I'll talk to you guys in just a second. He's uh, been out for 10 days. He started last year and got a stress fracture in Dalesville. So this year he started from Dalesville. And oh, this is beautiful again. Another suspension bridge. Love them. Uh, the river's looking good. So I'll probably see him today sometime. I'm taking it easy because it's already pretty late. It took me forever to get a ride out here. And uh, that's the way it goes. Ooh. So I'm not a, I'm so discombobulated. I'm not even sure how far I'm going to go today. We'll find out. One of the guys I got a ride from was telling me that this is the Shenandoah Valley. So I'm actually in the Shenandoah Valley, although we're not in the Shenandoah Valley State Park. So this whole area is the Shenandoah Valley. So what that means is I may see some bears. I may be seeing bears soon. I'm trying to uh, walk out of this big hill. And anytime you get into a gap or road, you can bet there's a mountain to climb out of. And that's what I'm doing. Slowly but surely. It is so much harder to see through these trees now. It doesn't take much. These leaves are everywhere. But it smells good. And it's pretty. So let's get on up this mountain. Uh, so this is kind of odd. I've come a couple miles up, or I don't even know how far I've come, not, but I guess they have a trail here, and it says, Voldemort was a purist, right? Uh, cheater's shortcut, but somebody's crossed it out, but adventurer's shortcut. And then here it says, take the blue blaze. Funny. I think that's really funny. <laughs> People are so funny. Anyway, hey, here we go. yes, I took the shelter trail, which cuts four miles off, uh, and now I feel bad. The uh, only reason I took it is because they had written on there, Voldemort is a purist, and I went for it. Uh, plus, they had, this is a very well-traveled trail looks the same except there are no white marks so this is not the Appalachian Trail the Appalachian Trail goes around that ridge or over that ridge and this one goes around it this way 
cuts four miles off and uh yep i don't know what else to say about it everybody really makes some really good comments about this trail and gut hooks and uh, we'll see it seems to be pretty not too bad i mean it has some really high climbs already but it moves right along uh, i can hear all the water I see a waterfall down there. I don't know if you can see it through there. That white right there. We'll see. Anyway, moving right along on what I'm going to call the Voldemort Trail. Yeah, there's a few people camping out here, more hikers. There's water on both sides of this. It's a really, really pretty trail. Says waterfalls. That's the waterfall side. <laughs> A lot of water. I was looking at that spot and I was thinking, man, I can go swimming in there. Look at this sunshine. Right, waterfall coming off of there, kind of deep right there. I think I could get in because there's been about 15 of those spots the whole way up and I kept thinking I should do it. But then I took some of this water, it's coming out in on this side. I took some of this water and put it on my head and went, holy shit, it has got to be freezing. It's like 32 degree water. If those aren't icicles coming down there, it was awesome on my head. But that's as far as it's going. Made it to the Moppin Field Shelter. Uh, that was an awesome blue blaze. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, there were so many waterfalls on that blue blaze, I lost count. I don't even know how many. If I was going to go in, I swear to God, but it was just too cold. Uh, felt good though. But in another month, when uh, John and Amy, when y'all come through, take the Blue Blaze. Okay, it's the Blue Blaze at around 8:38 or 8:39 Mall Har Trail. They say it's hard, and it may be for a normal section hiker, but for the through hikers, it is friggin' awesome. Uh, and in a month, when the water just a little cooler, well, when it's hotter, jump right in. Uh, they say next week, I ran into like five trail, hold on. Yeah, just one second. next week, I ran into five trail maintainers 
on that blue blaze. I mean, come on, that's a nice trail. That's why they're out there. And uh, they said next week they're going to grab people, anybody coming through, and feed them. So I missed that by a week. But that's the way it goes. Uh, I got about a mile and a half to Reed's Gap. And I'm going to get off. I know. I just got back on. But the Devil's Backbone Brewery is my next stop. It's still pretty sunny. I think I can get there. Get a pitcher of beer and a hamburger and hopefully get back and then camp out somewhere up ahead. We'll see. So I made it to the brewery. Um, some people driving down the road yelled my name out, flipped their car around, picked me up because they've seen me on YouTube and they took me here. And I'm like, yeah. And they're gonna come back and get me. So I need to get some beers and get some burgers and get it all done. So here I'll be. It seems like a pretty good place. I guess you get beers here and burgers maybe over there. I don't know. I'll find out. Awesome. Group Pub's pretty amazing. A couple people knew me out this outside. That was pretty weird. They're yelling at me there. Whatever. Thank you, sir. So I just stepped in, get a couple beers, have a burger, and then back to the trail as quick as possible. There'll be no lollygagging. No way. Round up. Why round up? Uh, because if it's like 3.8, 3.9, I'll round up before. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your call sign in the Navy? Jack. Jack. Jack off. Jack off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use this. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> those two trail angels were so fun. I really enjoyed both those guys. Uh, they did these also. Uh, I'm just going up here to a uh, campsite. I think I crossed the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I'll throw this trash in there. They have trash cans. And uh, then keep on going, and that'll give me. 18 to 19 miles to go tomorrow and hopefully I'll catch up with Raven at that point we'll see I understand that he's a little sick up ahead so we'll see what's going on with that tomorrow uh, I'll get up early so I can get in there and then if I have to go a little bit further I will my legs are really feeling really good right now but then I haven't done 20 something miles so whatever I can do tonight will knock off from 20 because it's 20 miles from back where the trail angels thank you guys again that was really fun uh drop me off and then i will go from there i love crossing the blue cross blue ridge parkway because they have trash cans i don't know if you can see it back there but there it is that little brown thing right there and i'm able to dump my pockets I was looking for a stream and I heard this water running and look, it pops out of that rock and look, there's nothing, just dry, pops out of that rock, disappears under that rock and then nothing. Like, wow, it's really flowing well and that'll be the water I get before I go to my next camp.